And today wrapped up the 2017 Black Hills Pow Wow, and the younger generation was definitely carrying the show. I caught up with a few of them to get their take on the special occasion. As time passes, more people are renting their living spaces, according to a study done by the Urban Institute. But does that affect the real estate market here in the Black Hills? Not so much. The study shows that single-family rentals have gone up 30% within the last three years. However, one realtor says since the Black Hills doesn't have many homes for sale. But it's not all about the pedestrians. It's up to drivers to be cautious as well. And it was not too long ago that the president turned his attention to drug addiction and the opioid crisis, calling it a public health emergency. But the real question is, why is it important to use a crosswalk when trying to get from here to here. A question most people have is, will my electricity bill go up? For a while, Vermillion was the only home of South Dakota public broadcasting, but that has all changed. Their new bureau and creative space is located at 415 Main Street. Now, West River says some of these things you can even do year round to avoid high cost. One company says it's big enough to get the job done, yet small enough to care. Swift Tech is an electrical contractor that first opened in 2005, and they're getting ready to open the doors to its new location. Servicing Rapid City and surrounding areas, the company does both residential and commercial work. Yes. But that doesn't mean consumers aren't still making their way to the store to shop for the holidays. The staff at Crazy Horse Memorial decided to show off the carvings progress this weekend at their annual Labor Day open house. Hundreds of people took advantage of the open house. Visitors could waive admission if they donated three cans of food per person. Max Padno also says that although the generations may change, the values of liberty always remain the same. And that wraps up your Black Hills Fox Business Report. I'm Travis Cummings.